Hey crafty friends, it's Mel. This is my second time trying to film this video. Um, the first one, I don't know where it went into space. It's just not saved on my camera. So let's keep our fingers crossed for this one. So first of all, I just want to say hello and I miss you guys. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, but again, I just work so much and whenever I can, I thought today, all I have to do is take Talia to us a little friend's birthday party in a little bit um, at the skating rink. So um, I have to take her to that, but I have a little bit of time to do a quick Sunday video. Well, maybe not so quick, but I got a lot of fun Hobby Lobby clearance haul um, goodies. But really quick, I want to have a little um, proud mama moment and show you. Um, those of you who been watching my channel for a while, you know Maya. She's not so much on my recent videos because she's getting older, but she used to love doing like when we would have pick a winner and she would announce the winners and she would like to be involved. But um, anyway, that's my oldest. She's 12, but she has really gotten into painting and she made this and I just took it off my fridge, but she's really getting good. So um, I am enjoying this little talent and I want to try to encourage her um, because this is a great little like outlet and I think it's like stress relieving. So you know I'm all for that. So anyway, I just wanted to share that, but I picked her up. I don't have the one that was a really good deal. It was like $2.24 and it was this big wide canvas and it had um, like there was one that had a lighthouse scene and another one that had um, like a tropical scene where you could do the sky. And Talia wants to show her drawing. So here's Talia's drawing. <laughs> so um, there's that. And now, um, so anyway, Maya had a, Talia has to be involved. Um, Ta I got this for Maya besides that other painting. So she's up working on that. So I'll show you that in another one. But because um, I do want to encourage her. Um, painting but I also know that a lot of the artist supplies are so expensive like it's hard to but since I saw the talent there I thought when things like this go on sale so this was a dollar ninety nine for this hexagon stretch canvas so sometimes they go on sale because on clearance because of the they're going to get rid of the shape or sometimes it's like there's a small mark on it and I figure she could paint a tree or something if there there's like a small little dent but the one of them that was on there it was ripped but still a good deal because it was like a four pack and you still got the three behind it that weren't so I'm going to try to pick up these little things because I really like, um, she's really good at it. So I want to try to encourage her to work on her craft. So there's that. And then some other big things. Oh, before I get into the Hobby Lobby clearance haul, I want to show you one other little random goodie that I got. Um, where did I just put it? Here it is. So I, after thinking about it and thinking about it, I got me one of these. So, um, this one is the Cricut Easy Press 2, but it's not, it's only the tiny one. So it's the six by seven size that's mainly used to do like, um, baby onesies or I guess smaller projects. Um, tea towels it's showing, little canvas bags, a little, um, kid's jacket, a little home project. But... Um, a lot of things. So anyway, I was thinking about getting this at work and I was like, well, with my discount and such and such, but this one is regularly 139 and then it was on sale for a while for 109, but it's still kind of pricey. And for the longest time I was just using my, um, my regular old school iron and it worked well. In fact, when I made us, my whole family, the Disney shirts, when we just recently went to Disney, um, my sister was even saying how my, she's washed my nephew's shirt over and over again. So here's some of the shirts we made, but be, what my point is, there's just smaller images, um, so that we can, um, so that would work on there besides just a onesie. Cause I don't really do like large, large, large scale because I thought about getting a heat press, but then most recently, um, since my craft room was all the, is upstairs, um, I just recently made, and which is why I changed my channel name to Melissa's Crafty Corner, because I made a corner of my bedroom my crafty area um, <clears throat> so that I can uh, be down here. It's kind of hard with it being upstairs because I can't hear what's going on. I can't hear the doorbell. I don't know what my kids are getting into, you know, when I'm upstairs. So I needed just a small little area down here, and it's so far it's been working really well. So that's where I'm filming at right now. Um, so... There's that. So I'm real excited to try that one out. I only have the small one. Um, they have the large one at Hobby Lobby, that the old blue one. Um, and I know some of the differences with the new ones. They said they're, they heat up better and they have some new features. But I'm waiting to see if that one goes on clearance. That's the larger one. Um, not the biggest because now I think they have it even larger. So now they have new sizes in the Easy Press too. But I was able to pick up that one not from work um, but from a 
like an online site. Um, somebody got a gifted one and she didn't need the smaller one. So it was a brand new one. So I got it for $65 shipped. So it probably ended up being like $50 shipped because that probably cost a, quite a bit to ship. So I was so excited. So that was quite a deal. Um, so that was finally I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. So anyway, hence, which is why I purchased this shirt. This one wasn't on clearance, but I got this little onesie because I... So we have a blackout at work where we can't ask off from October to um, February. So you know I was excited and we just got done inventory, which we all worked way too many hours. So I'm like due for it. So I'm going on a trip very soon um, in a week to go visit my baby niece. Um, and I'm so excited. So she just turned one month old and I haven't even met her yet. So I'm dying to get there. So I got this because I wanted to make a little project for her, a little iron-on project um, and bring a little gift to her. So I got this one in um, three to six months just so it'll be big enough for her. So um, that's what that is for. So there's that. And then um, let me show you just some of the bigger things just to get them out of the way. So um, yeah, I just did my video before this and it didn't save. So I'm hoping this one does. Um, then I got this little box because, and I even showed this in my video. Um, this little box was regularly $6.99 marked to $1.74. Um, I got the teal one, but there's one that had like a hot pink handle on tab. But I got this to kind of house my, I need an area with something to, real quick to grab, like a quick grab thing to keep all my heat embossing things. So that's a embossing ink pad, my little powder tool, um, and then all my little um, uh, heat embossing powders. Because now I just put them in the container they came in. I used to put them in like Tupperware with a spoon, but that took up too much room and it really wasn't necessary. So I just use these now with my little coffee filters and then put it back, you know, pour it back in there when I'm done. So that's what I got that for. And then something silly is I got two of these little um, milk containers. Um, one is actually for a friend. She was already, she had already checked out um, and she went to clock in. And so um, she was already on the clock. So I said, I'll get one for her. Um, but this was marked down to 74 cents. And they had these little clear mason jars that were marked to 49 cents. I didn't get any of them. But I actually wanted to get this. This is um, a walk down memory lane for me. When we were little, my dad used to take us to this place that did like fresh squeeze, like, you know, within season, but fresh squeezed um, apple cider. And they used to sell them in little, I don't know what this is. It's a pint, uh, a quart, little quart size, um, they look like mini um, gallons of milk. So anyway, this kind of made me think of that. But the reason I got this is an odd one. And I'm going to put vinyl on it and put Noli. But I used this little container. But this would actually be perfect to refill my dog's water. And I have a little wiener dog. So she doesn't... <laughs> or her bowl is like this small. So I thought this would be cute just to keep by the sink. And, you know, you fill that up. And, you know, to fill up her water. And I checked too. Because I thought maybe this is just for a decorator. But it says food safe, hand wash only, not microwave safe. So I won't be microwaving it. But I thought that would be cute. So I got one of those and then I got one my friend Liz one of those so I have to give her hers um and then I got a bunch of goodies here so let's get started with that some of these were not the clearance ones but um a lot of the Tim Holtz things went on sale um I didn't get a lot of them I left them there um there was like a lot of their distress paints which I didn't really see the need for them for me personally only because to me, they're a lot like um, acrylic paints, and acrylic paints can be cheap too. So they were marked down to 99 cents, but they were the smaller ones. So I didn't pick up those. Um, but what I did get was a bunch of inks. So some of them I opened already. So I got Twisted Citron, Cracked Pistachio, Salty Ocean, Abandoned Coral, Picked Raspberry. And then the clearance ones were marked down to 149 So that's so cheap. So I got Spice Marmalade, Frayed Burlap, Walnut Stain, and Antique Linen. So, and I think there were more um, that were marked down, and I don't remember which ones of these were marked. Some were regular price. Um, but I just wanted to build up my stash because I really like those inks. So I think they're getting room, they're making room. And there were some distress, distress sprays that were um, on sale and some other things like some water brush pens and things like that. But again, I didn't really need all that, so I didn't get all those. Um, oh, real quick, random ones. <laughs> I wish they had four of these. But I picked up these little knobs. Um, they're so cute. And they are, they've been marked down quite a few times times they're marked down to 37 cents um so anyway um i was excited to get those so i'm going to figure out what i can use them for but i love the little hearts and the white distress so a little diamond cut one so i got those um so then i got the inks and then the only other tim holtz thing that i got was this distress ink kit um which is picket fence so i think this is like the pigment one um so it is one ink pad and one re-anchor so this is like the white so i just kind of needed something that was like the white chalky um thing so i got this one and um for 249 it was 999 so there's that 
Um, so the rest of the stuff I kind of passed on, but there was a lot more. All right, and then I got these, and I opened these in my other video to show you something, and I had Maya um, bring me something out to see if they work. So these were marked down. They're mini craft sacks. You get 20 of them for 74 cents. Um, and what I got these for is because I was hoping that they were gift card size because sometimes these are fun to make um, just from scratch and then sometimes it's nice to have these already prepared especially in these pretty papers and patterns so what I wanted to check was to see if this would fit a gift card and Maya was so kind to bring me one over so here's her Barnes & Noble gift card and it fits so you can put it in there you could have it hanging out and you could just adhere this like with your ATG gun to the front of a card or the inside of a card and just have a cute little pocket for it and you can tuck it all the way in or have it out but it does fit so I wasn't sure so that's exciting so i got those so that was 74 cents for 20 and they're all pretty foiled ones and they, i think they had other ones but you know it's, it's the only one i decided to get then i got 74 cents again is these watercolor tags i thought they're really pretty and they're ombre and these come with 18 pieces so sometimes having these made up ahead of time is nice and it might make you like if you were running out of time it might make you jazz things up a little more just to have it you know pre-prepped and then you could either stamp or stamp on it or heat and boss so there's that then I got some dies. Well, let me show you these envelopes first. They had a bunch of envelopes on sale, but I only got these. I mainly used A2, so some of them were larger. Like, they had these cool vellum ones that were the larger ones, but these are A2 size. So these were 99 cents, and you get 12 for these, and these were pretty pink with, like, a gold foil edge. Um, then I got this one, which was white, so I got two packs of the pink, and this is white with just, like, a foily little design here that you can write the address. So I got those. I got these little adhesives. They had other adhesive, other glues on sale. But for $1.24, I got the small 300 piece of Zots. They're like the little uh, mini adhesives, just that size. So I got those. So that's a good staple to have. And then um, let me show you all the dies that I got. So they had a ton of dies. I passed on a lot of these. And really quick, here's some paper clips. I got a um, new, um, well, it's not. It's the same one I had before, but my puppy got to it. Um, it was a Webster's Pages pocket planner, and it was like the um, mustard color, like suede one. So right now I'm using the uh, Buffalo Check one, and I love it a lot. It's the small little chunky size. That's that's the size that seems to work for me. I had I had planners prior to that, but anything bigger, like these are small to fit in there. And I love writing things so I don't forget, like goals that I need to achieve or things that I need to fix around the house or a grocery list or whatever I want to remember. Um, I write it in there and it's really helping me, um, especially because I work so much, so it's, it's good to keep track of things. So that's actually going to come in the mail today. I ordered it on Amazon, and it killed me to have to buy it again, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, so anyway, I got this one. It was $4.99, regularly $19.99, and it's called Holiday, and you can make this really pretty layered poinsettia, and I thought that would be fun. So I'm not sure if all the dyes are in there. It kind of feels light, but I'll have to open it and make sure. But I thought that was really pretty, and it makes, like, you probably can't see on camera, but there's a lot of, like, impressions on this that you can, um, I'm not sure if it's showing. But, like, it's not just regular. Like, it'll imprint, like, the inner parts of this, if that makes any sense. So I'll try that out and do a video. Then I got this one, which is a nice interactive one. But this is marked down to $2.74, regularly $10.99. It has dyes, embossing folder, and one that cuts. So this one cuts and embosses in one step. And just to give you, like, this is what you can do. So you can make a shaker card, but and it cuts out this little window with this branch. But what I thought this would be really fun. Talia, be quiet. Talia. <laughs> Um, you can make this um, like Tim Holtz and you can do your inking and just do like a an ombre effect with your different inks um, so there's the fall version and there's the winter version so I'm not sure how well you can see that but um, I thought that was really cool and for two, 274 that's like a fun little project to play with as with this one so this one's a cut and emboss 249 regularly 999 and it comes with a wood grain um, embossing folder and then it comes with a leaf a pine cone which is really cool a different style leaf and this is what <laughs> it's the little things that make you happy but this is so fun this is a little acorn it's got the little hearts on it i don't know if you can see it little hearts for the cap of the acorn so excited to use that one and um that one was really cool but 249 for one two three four and and five pieces actually i think it's more because it gives you the outside and the impression so really cool oh eight pieces the could look right at that but for 249 you can't beat that again another fun kit that has um if you can make some of these um sorry for the glare but it is like a little um coffee cup 
and you could it has fall pumpkin spice and everything nice autumn pumpkin harvest and like a little steam and a little pumpkin and you can uh, and it has all the matching dies for two dollars and 49 cents seven dies and seven stamps so 14 pieces and there's just a little example of something they did so really cool so i'm excited to play with that one so these are where you can add to your stash for like cheap so it's almost worth waiting for them to you know go on sale so hopefully this video saves um, I really want to check in with you guys and see how you were all doing. I'd love to hear from you below and leave a comment. Um, let me know how you guys are doing. Um, and check out your Hobby Lobbies. And keep in mind, too, every Hobby Lobby has different markdown deadlines. So just because you may have seen this here, you know, you might have seen one in California, the other Hobby Lobby may not have got their markdowns yet. So be nice to the, the employees um, and just be patient because, you know, they will, they will all be marking them down. It's just all different times. So if that's makes any sense because sometimes people come in and say the other Hobby Lobby has these marked down and these aren't here or vice versa or whatever you know it everything's by deadline so just keep that in mind but anyway I hope you're all doing well I was really glad to do this video and I really miss them so I will try you know my my hardest to do them when I can and I hope you all enjoy your Sunday and leave me a comment below let me know how you're doing okay guys bye